crap echo. Also, how loud is my stream? Uh, okay, my stream failed. Is my stream so loud? What the hell? Okay, I don't know what just happened there. Hmm. Let's see. Oh, it turns out la last time, although I kind of told the Discord already, I was kind of going about <laughs> that battle. We're not supposed to do that battle. <laughs> I got so tunnel visioned. This is just like the worst construction for me. Is like whenever like a map makes it so that you're just like, huh, what kind of battle am I supposed to do? Because all of them look impossible. It's just like you get tunnel visioned so horribly. Like that, like holy crap. Hmm. Um, but yeah, that's a thing. I tried asking LT for some subtle hints, like I don't want to know any solution, I just want to know like... Because I was asking like... I, I asked him like, am I supposed to go back and get more dendroids or centaurs to win this battle? And he was like, no. And then he was just, I think he also said that like... I can't remember what I asked him, but he was just like, am I supposed to defeat her right now? And he's just like, no. And I'm like, okay, I guess we're not supposed to do that. I mean, it did look pretty much impossible to do, so who knows. Oh yeah, I did actually ask him as well about the, uh, the dragon hero. Uh, the dragon hero that appears. Um, like, I asked if I could fight that hero now, if, or a lot of, if I'm supposed to kill it as fast as possible, and yeah, we're supposed to kill that as fast as possible. And we're gonna take advantage of some... Yeah, just, you know, yes-no answers is what I prefer. But yeah, I I actually, when I was looking, I, I, I think, oh yeah, I asked him as well if I need a special place to fight this hero, and, and you can fight this hero wherever you want. It doesn't have anything to do with them. I thought originally with the Devils we needed to do something there, because I saw the Elixir of Life. Again, tunnel vision is so fucking bad, but um, after looking at this battle a little bit, I kind of came to realize that there's a dragon and this dragon is going to be used to kill up some stuff but I do think we need the arch devil for this battle still. I'm a little bit curious on how exactly it's going to play out. Um, okay so that that's the thing. No spoilerinos. I don't know what the fuck we're supposed to use the ballista for. I do feel like I understand. All right, let's. So I think I have like an okay plan, but I need to. Um, uh, let me just take a look. So yes, there's a well down here. So I think we want to go and get the devils here, and we would, um, I need to figure out exactly how this battle is going to go. I think we need... She's going to attack me here, and I'll need to have as much speed as possible. I don't think sacrifice means anything here. Is that you moving? I know these heroes are going to be released at some point, but I don't know what the trigger is. Because I take some weeks ahead. Uh, so, yeah, get the devils. When we win, we can get some demons there, which I'm expecting we need to sacrifice in this battle. I don't know if I need sharpshooters. That's a f not a thing that I'm really confused about. We're probably going to win this battle in the next turn, so, like, we're going to go like this, probably. And then. I guess I'm not doing that. I, I can get the curse out here. I don't know about this bell power. 
that'll have to be a correction for later. So I'll go here. Make sure we get at the right spot. And so he's gonna attack, then we're gonna get the magic well, get the elixir, and then I don't know what we need this for. Maybe Kira needs to go down here. And hopefully we can place ourselves in a way that Huh. I'm so confused. So like maybe yeah he needs to go there. We're gonna have to do a bunch of stuff, but I don't know in which order it's going to be done one way or the other. Wait, what? Oh! One of the gold pieces has an artifact on it. You don't see that so often. So that's the crown we need for this. That actually means that once we're done here, we can get up here. Uh, for whatever that's what. Oh, that will give us the green border so we can get in here. Probably pretty important. I don't know what we need the damn ballista for, but I'm guessing we need it for something. Hmm. No, no spoiler in us. So... Mm. Yeah, I guess... I don't know. I, we'll, we'll just optimize this as we go, I think. Uh, there's no way for me to actually predict that. I could have time to pick up that one, I don't know. Mm. I keep spoiling the map. Well, you can't remember it anyways. Whatever the map looks like, it's not something that you're actually going to be able to recognize. Okay, so after this battle, I need to trade with Kira again. I, no, there's no reason for that. Oh my god, there's so many options. I could go for the well, I could also go below, I could... Mm. I kind of want to end up on that stable if I can, but I don't know if we have time for that. Listen, looking at the map doesn't do anything for you. I need to know where I'm going, man. Okay, so I need to trade one more time. No crisscross. So, you're gonna go like that. And then, I'm guessing... I'm gonna need like that. We need to tap the devils to win. Probably. So like this, I don't know about that. <laughs> I don't think we want the first eight tent here. No, so, so like this. like a really nasty battle. The fuck are we going to do about that? Is what I'll probably say about every single battle on this map. Yikes. Alright, one problem at a time. Hmm. <laughs> The level of autism on this map is quite high. And I just don't really know exactly how some of this is going to go. What am I gonna do about this? Um, it might be even worse with the setup we have right now. So like here to here, and then like he's going to something. There's nobody who's like on that quest, which makes it... I don't really know what 
Kira should be doing right now. I feel like if he moves down too far, he's going to probably end up getting caught by the demon. Yeah, okay, so that kind of solves that problem. Mm -hmm. That might be an indicator that I'm supposed to pick up the well there, or something? Um, this is kind of confusing me. It's going to something, correct. Okay, I think maybe I'll go do this. We'll see. If I don't, I'll just... If, if, if it doesn't work, I'll make it work. Well, red pill all day long. Okay, that's correct. It's kind of an awkward spot, but at least he doesn't have to step on the um, the well at this point. So that's a thing. I could also have gone for the spell power here. I don't know if that would have been better. I don't know. I I I just don't know. But okay, that's fine. <sighs> okay, let's see. Let's see how this goes. What kind of weird area I'm gonna get into? Oh, I just realized the positioning now is going to be awkward. How? Oh, I'm not gonna have him in that positioning anymore. Oh, that's going to irritate me. Oh, I just remembered. I needed to have, like, the, the big... That's true. It was better on the other side. Because I practiced it on the other side, but it's not actually gonna be on the other side now. How awesome is that just... Okay, can we just... <sighs> That's such a long way to go up there. I don't know. Maybe I should go for the spell power instead. Okay, so... Maybe I'll save after this because I'm gonna have to redo this. But, yeah, we need to have... I don't even know if I need this twice. That's the... Uh, I don't know. I might need it twice. Gonna have to do some shit in reverse now. Sure. Oh, this is annoying. Okay, let me see if I can get this going. Oh, he has blind. Huh. Didn't he use that before? He used anti magic. So I. Oh, but. Oh. That's not nice. What to do about the fire shield? Uh, he's going to kill off the, uh, the Sultan with the dragon in one hit. Uh. But yeah, didn't I need a ton of speed? How much is that? 14! Oh, for f You know what? That doesn't actually matter if he's at the top end. But wait, won't he attack anyway still? Fuck! I practiced this battle completely wrong. Unless, of course, I'm just supposed to have some mana, which I guess I could dispel it every turn, but... How good would that actually be? Be. I can cast Cure for like X amount of turns, but that'll only be so long. That's six turns.
If I go with that, I think I'm screwed. I have to. That's awful. Did I not have three of them? What happened? Did he die? He died. I think I might need to do this battle with a little bit less mana loss because the way that I'm looking at it this right now, like, it may just boil down to mana, which is kind of stupid. Because if I don't have that speed, I can get him to be in the right spot. That in this. Sometimes they act differently. Need to check to see. It might be a positioning thing here. Damn it! That's the problem with sometimes with like doing. Ah, uh, why did I have to do this battle in reverse? That's just awful. If he's at the bottom, I don't know if I can get him to go below. So that's a bit of a, a yikesy situation to be in. Ah, there we go. This one's here. Okay, a little bit on the side, okay. It's a bit annoying. Okay. The 
fuck? Stop doing that! Better in the other spot. I need a bigger incentivizing force. I might actually not need to see here. Oh, that's a problem. Ah, for fuck's sake. Ah, uh, that's... Didn't a bit the 
choosy there? He should want to go like the furthest he can, so like why is he not... Why in this case is he like... Removing himself from... Ah! It's so annoying! Would it be better above, maybe? I don't know. Could try the above one. That's annoying. Oh, I don't know how to do this in reverse. <sighs> no idea how to do this in reverse. There was so much easier when I attacked him, but obviously I'm not attacking him, he's attacking me. There's no way for me to hide, so that's just... dumb. I need to move them out, but it's easier if they stand still. Walking in front of them, god damn it. Maybe we are supposed to attack him, I don't know. But technically, it should be like the same kind of stuff in reverse, just in reverse. But he doesn't seem to really fall into the pattern where I can get him tricked into attacking his own unit. He just doesn't want to. Now he moves forward, which, which doesn't make any sense. Is he trying to avoid his own dragon bear? Well, I know how to win part of this battle, I don't know how to completely win it, because like I've been able to kill off the elf and sultans, and then we need to figure out how to kill off the other sultans, well, the efforts. Then I'm guessing at the end we just summon some water elements or something? I don't know. I won't really have that much point in if he's casting water elements. 
Yeah, maybe we're really not even supposed to win it this way. I don't know. There's nowhere to hide from this guy. I don't have the mana after the second battle. So even if I got it down to that, maybe this is just not how it's supposed to be done. Because I don't... I think... I don't think I have enough damage. Now, that would take a lot of rounds to win after this. But the timing of this is so odd! Yeah, how the hell do we kill the dragon when all of this is said and done? I would need the mana. I can only visit the well, like, once per day, so that's also a problem, because, like... This is a way too many things that are so tight. If I visit that one on this day, I was here. Alright, let's, let's just say I actually did that. Uh, wait... That's the wrong one. At least I might not oversee something. I might have. Say I went and stayed here, which would be such a complete waste of movement. Ah, okay, he actually goes up there. That's great. Wait, he fights us too? What? Oh, I guess he does that sometimes. I... I guess it's just... Yeah, sometimes he just does that instead. So then I could get some mana to... something? I actually still don't know how to win this battle. Uh, because even if I were to do it that way and I kill that, like, how the fuck do we... The dragon is not losing anything, so, like... I guess the element would be a distraction, and then I could kite away and get another hit in, like, every now and then. As long as it's there to be a distraction, it doesn't exactly need to tank. If he casts blind, though, every turn, that's a problem. That is 100% of the problem, but we need to win this, that, that's a thing. But now, if I'm waiting here, I'm like, extremely delayed. Uh, if I go anywhere in this area, I'm in trouble. It just doesn't seem like a great timing. Okay, so say I did this and we... Let's just say we did this. Let's just ask why, but let's just say we did this. Somehow won that. Maybe we picked up this. And then you would be somewhere here. And I would do something like this. Oh, you didn't pick that up. Oh, let's whatever. So, wait. At this point, I don't even have the wet skin, so I'd have to get them up there. And then... I guess at this point we wouldn't really have that much movement. Wouldn't have to pick that up. Go here. Have the elixir. Be a little bit confused about everything. And then there's all of this down here that I also don't know anything about. I guess on the first would be able to something. Oh, I didn't...
So some sort of optimized route here. I don't know about picking up all the stuff that we're gonna need. And then there's like everything else. I guess it's not really like that much that happens here. And then like between something here and there, we'll go. Way. I don't know. I'm very confused about this whole ordeal, but I don't see how we're gonna win with the current setup, but okay. To figure out like what is the shortest route, if I can attack him, at least I can get that. We can correct it afterwards if something is missing. Or else he can correct me and tell me I missed something obvious or blah blah blah, I don't know. Mm. So... Who the devils? I don't think it matters too much on these things. So you're gonna have to sit your sweet ass there. And I'm gonna do that. Maybe there's some other way to actually fight that guy that I don't know about. But it doesn't really seem like it. Could you save enough mana to something? You need the water, that's though. That's a lot of mana. But I had excess from that. I don't know. Maybe there's a way to do that. I don't know. I'll correct it later. Details. Um, okay, so... Blah, blah, blah. Now I just need to, like... Get Q and not kill for one round. And I want to figure out like what the most ideal spot for him is. I think if I go anywhere near this area here. What if there's like another sanctuary around and I just don't see it? Wait, he actually left Kira alone? Okay. I didn't really do anything, I just stood here. That would actually save me a ton of time if that's the case, I don't really know. Uh, I doubt that if I do anything but that, he's going to attack me. But he might have weird preferences. Yeah. Yeah, it works in mysterious ways. What if I'm one step from it? Oh, did I actually pick that one up? Man, I'd actually be worth it if I'm going to do this anyways. I'll just sit here and I can pick this one up after the fact. Maximize the speed here and something. All right, let's let's go. Okay, I get my mana back. Wasn't I on the route between some of this? Mm, yeah, I forgot about that. The well is kind of on the other side. That'll be a problem, will it not? Wait, how far did I actually manage to get down there? That's a good question. So say if I were to do that... He'd probably trade it. Maybe he'd even trade that one there. It'd be better to go first or backwards, blah blah blah. I don't even know what I need to curse for. Yeah, so even if I were to do it in this particular route. I feel like I'd be off by some squares in these uh, in these areas, which just seem really weird. Because if I don't do that, then I won't have enough mana for the battle to come. I'm confused. 
But that's nothing now. Maybe do all the trades with uh, Kayla instead. Okay. Okay, so we want... Well, this is like kind of where we need to like figure out how to do this correctly. This seems all kinds of wrong, what I'm doing right now. But... I don't know right now, I'm just confused. I feel like we probably need another 2 C stack. So... Oh, I still don't think this is a good idea. I'll have to get that off. But at least I'll get his mana off. Eventually. I think it doesn't matter in this case, so I can just go get another plus one spell power. First, blah blah blah. Now we can both be confused together. Yeah. Sounds like a plan, man. Is he moving his units? Does he have tactics? I have tactics. I sworn they were closer. Oh, it was because the because he moved them. Of course, he moved his units based on where I was. Um, wait, does he end now? Then I guess they can check where your army is, kind of. But yeah, so that's probably another reason why that shouldn't be done that way. Because if you like, I actually don't know how big the deal is. It's a thing. It's a thing, all right. <sighs> I had a two C stack the last time I this this. Not sure how exactly it's gonna spray that way, so I'll probably need. Do I need to choose this time? Or... I remember there being something random about this battle, but I can't exactly remember. Need to be a two six tank. Well, the devil could even be doing things. Split. Thank you. 
Ah, uh, why? Why is this? I did this yesterday. I did without the devil. Does that have any difference on it? Uh, two C stacks in the middle. There we go. Now, question is, what is the devil doing something, or was that just a positioning I needed to find? Was it the 2C stack, or what was it? He's pushing forward now. Why? I'm doing it all fucking identical and he's not falling for it. I don't understand why. How do I get consistency with that? Why were we able to do it without the devil? Does that have some sort of alternate? Because I've not been able to get them to place themselves at all in these situations. Does it have anything to do with the anti-magic? Yeah, it doesn't believe that, does it?
Maybe it does. I don't know. Need to test. At least I was going to move that, but I mean, I could do it without that. If I don't move, then he's going to move immediately, which just kind of leaves. And he didn't go with anti magic either. Like, what the fuck does that have to do with anything? I don't know. I don't know what that's supposed to mean. understand why so we have to figure out like why this is happening if it's just a coincidence okay he actually cast it after he attacked didn't he like in this case, I can get him to kill. What is he doing differently? He moves the dragon forward a bit to attack the one that's up there. But what does that have to do with anything? With him being there versus the other one. And the worst part is there's like no consistency. In this case there is, but like few times where it doesn't do the thing. There has to be a better way to do this. Yeah, like now it's just not doing it. And now I just can't even replicate it with this side. I don't even necessarily know if it's this side. I'm trying to figure out like what kind of path is going wrong. So better when they were standing still, too. Worse now. Now what?
okay. Yeah. Right, that was wrong. What? Shit, how did I do that again? Damn it, I knew I should have written it down. Now what? He's moving first, he's going to attack that, then what? So he's probably going to attack it in. And then I get, need to get the 2C somewhere else. So he's going to attack that in some pattern here, so what does that mean? He, okay, so he's not going to attack it from above. Gonna attack it in the middle, which means that the fret needs to be down here. So I need to eliminate the angles in which you can attack it. So if I put the two here. Now the two here. And these two here. That might actually work. It's so like here. So obviously I need to attack it. So if I put this one here. You can only attack it in one angle. I was mistaken. He could attack that and the devil. How lovely! But I think I'm getting this down, because if I can isolate which angle he can attack in, he won't be able to... Um, he'll only attack and I can put the unit exactly the way I want to. But that's going to take some manipulation. Okay, let's see this again. So, it's eleven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So you can attack it from below there. If I go him there, he can attack from above, which is not ideal. I'm gonna put the two C in the. Part where he doesn't end up hitting too many of my units. Jesus! Okay, what the fuck do we do here? That was a good spot there, but he can get in between it. That's the problem. But we want him to be able to hit, but we don't want him to be able to hit multiple. What if I put him here? So he can attack it below and there. But he won't hit it in between there. So, put him here, he's blocking that route, he won't be able to reach in between days and can't hit the 2C there. Put the 2C here, block, and there's only one access route, and he should attack it. He'll 
probably... What if he attacks here? Uh, I hope he's attacking down. If he attacks here, I'm doomed. Well, I don't know. Confused. So you just be there. I'm gonna move you down here. And... Um, unless, of course, I just block that route, in which case he can't land there. So... Wait, no! Wait, yes! Wait, no! Where's my... I attacked with a Tusi stack. I did that wrong. Okay, so... Basically here, if the Tusi is there, he, he can only attack in between there. Um, and then I can probably block it so that he only attacks in there. Like this. Yeah, this way he puts himself in there. So I just need to put that correctly. Oh dear, the autism level, man. Um. Hey, Darcy. How you doing? It was a quality meme. <laughs> How you doing, man? Well, problem is that... Problem is that the, the dragon actually attacks first, otherwise that was good idea, but I didn't really think that through completely. Okay, what do I do about that? Like, he's in the right spot, but he's not. What if I just do that above him, then? Instead of below it? Because it doesn't matter, he just needs to be able to reach it. Yeah, sadly, we're still a Heroes 3 gamer. Sadly. I'm going into my house soon. I'm getting the keys on Tuesday. Actually, life is pretty damn good right now. Life is good. I got two buyers fighting over my apartment, so that one is probably going to get sold soon. And hopefully at the highest uh, amount. House 2 on stream? I don't know. I, I probably won't have enough connection. We'll see. You'll just get like 5 seconds and then everything else is just buffering through. <laughs> we'll see. And I have a basement. So I can become a dungeon. I can become the... <laughs> we can become the Gachi King now. All the dungeon mastering. I gotta make some memes about that. Huh? Alright. Hmm. Does that sometimes? What's in the room? No. No, no, it's correct. So it's just. Oh, gee, that's being real. Don't do that to me right now. Ah, oh, why? Okay, it's back to normal now for reasons I don't understand. Okay, let me think this through again, so... Oh dear.
So we move him up here and then force him to attack it in that route. And then we move you up here. Like that. Get you to burn down there. Move up there so you can only attack that way. And then we block this road here. Now, he only has one route he can attack with, and he should fall for the for the trick. We'll see. Why? No! He went for the one stack? Why? Why would he do that? That was the perfect plan, and he just didn't take it. Oh. Oh, I hate the amount of RNG. So I don't know if this is just a matter of uh, RNG or proper incentive. Let's see again. He does it again, but I don't know why. Why does he not go for the bigger stack? He should want to do that, but he's not doing it. This is dumb. <sighs> Maybe I need an even thicker stack. Like a free stack or something. I don't know. Let's go for a free stack and... See if that helps anything. Why is he not attacking it? That was my best plan. And he's just not falling for it. I don't know what I can do differently right now. I need to, like... I really don't know, like... Why is he not attacking?
Uh, well, I mean, the water element can be attacked in any angle here, so... That's not exactly good. Why we wanted that one to do that. I don't really know what I'm doing here. a numbers game with that trick. It could just be a numbers game, but it could also be that he's purposely trying. What kind of some stuff like this is like the, already, the AI is already set to like avoid uh, getting breathed. So they will purposely avoid it, so you have to really find like an error to take advantage of that. I need like a unit more.
Ah, oh, this is so absurd. There's just no way he's ever going to, like, place himself in a spot where... That's because I moved him. But, hmm. Can you please stop spawning at the bottom? Oh, did I put that right? Nope. Wait. I'm not confused. Better down? I don't know if he's going to attack the devil. I feel like he has every reason to do so, but the blind might supersede it in doing so. I but I still think I'm not gonna have the speed preference, am I? I'm a little bit on and off by that. It's probably gonna blind it. No, actually, I might have one more. Um, okay, so. He needs to be there. Wait. Is it just a chance to go behind them? Well, that wasn't exactly better. What the fuck are we supposed to Oh, dude. It's just absurd. We had like a perfect spot and then it just didn't work. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna try and spice it up and see if I can't get the the, the air might be greedy. It may just be it just me it may just be that I need to incentivize it a little bit more. I wonder if freedom might be enough. Yeah, no, sometimes weirdness happen. Uh so Ah for fuck.
Now, th this is some Darkman feelings coming back. This is like worse than Darkman. At least Darkman, that were battle state, like we could pass. We just had to redo a lot of sections. This is just like, oh, here's like a battle that's so super convoluted and precise that even though you know what to do, you still have to specifically calculate every single square inch of this map for things to go exactly so or you lose. Ugh. And then there's also RNG. Oh my god, I can't click on squares right now. Okay, so I wanted to do... I need to remember what it was that I needed to do. So I think it was like, uh, yeah, we took this spot here. Uh, and we wanted to isolate him in so he focused on that. So we're gonna go like this. And then we block it out so he can only go this way. Now hopefully he doesn't go for the fucking one stack again. I don't know how the fucking dragon... It may just be that they are going to avoid it. Desperately. He doesn't go after the 10. Maybe the problem is that the reason why I could get it with the uh, Effen Sultan is that he's faster. And now that I have the regular Effens, the dragon moves first, so the uh, effort moves out of the way. At least I feel like I can confirm that he's just never going to take that bait, so I need to do that in a different way. So, um... Uh, okay. So how do we do that? So we need to get like the, the dragons to move in a specific spot. Dragon's gonna move first. And then the effect is going to position it so to not get sprayed. Which means I need to somehow get the dragon to move in a spot where that can happen. But that doesn't make any sense. There's no way I'm gonna kite that down as well. There's too many dragons. The dragon's always going to avoid the second. It's going to avoid trying to shoot his own units. Actually, no, I think the dragon's stupid. But I think the I think the AI yeah, must have like a reversed thinking going here that like if it will want to avoid being in the present of like the dragon breath, but um, it won't necessarily move out of the way once it's dead, especially if not if there's a juicy target. So, what exactly do we do about that? It has to be something where, like, it's preemptively moving into spot. I just don't understand this at all. I don't know how to do that. It makes sense on the first go, but the second... The first hit is easy enough to set up. You just have to fucking try until you find a spot, but... Now I just have to get into the second turn and figure out, like, some weird way to do that. Ugh! What do we do about that? I 
It made s uh, I like I like my solution to this battle, but it just did not work. My solution made sense. Whatever the fuck you're supposed to actually do here seems completely dumbfounded. This is like a point I would wish to say right now, because we're just gonna have to try and figure out like what the heck is, is going to work here. As long as I don't think he's going to ever going to move into a spot where I can do something. So I don't know what it is that we need to do here. Alright, let me see if I can like make a little bit of sense of this. Which I can't. Why did he move close to that? That's really weird. Billy would just wet pill this battle and give the middle finger to everything. That? No, he can't reach that. Did that actually work? Wait, no. He's not in the right spot. He's very close, but not quite. I get the dome on it. That's true. True that. Okay, so. I almost feel like I was onto something here, but I don't really know. What now? Uh, 
Because he's going to attack. He's probably going to go for a straight forward one. There's no way I can incentivize that, though. Good idea is going to go that way. I should have gone the other way. no sense. He's dodging it. God damn it. God fucking damn it. He's never gonna purposely go into the way. That was another way that I could have done it, like to avoid all the ways, but there's no way he's ever going to take. Oh, uh, this is some. This is some obscure, weird nonsense. Unlike knowing how that is going to behave. And I have no clue how that works. Because it's not logical. This is something you have to know, I feel. He's never purposely going to do that. He's going to always avoid it. And he has a fucking flying unit that can attack at all angles. And even if we try and isolate that out, he's always going to avoid the breath attack. There's no way he's ever going to, like, do that. He's not going to purposely...
feel like I've had like 10 plans for this battle already. And every one of them just... It's just not enough to get it to properly work. <sighs> yeah, I mean, this map is 100% torture. And I knew that. From the very second that I took a look at this map, I knew that it was torture. I think anyone should deny that. Mm -hmm. <sighs> okay. Okay, I, I just I just came up with a new new path. Oh, not like that. Maybe we need to keep him up there. Maybe you don't want to get it into the second round at all. <gasps> oh my god. It's not perfect, but it's almost there. The dragon is moving forward, so I need to be one more forward. No, he moved a bit differently. Fuck. Just random, or is that something else? I'm definitely done with the second round. Trixly doodling, because fuck that. Yeah, he likes to do that. That. Uh... Okay, so it may be that my original positioning is not quite right. How do I get him to be above in that case? What if I just sent two flies? instead of the one, but who's then going to attack? Well, it could just be the 10 stack. Um, say we go like that, and then we do like this. Okay, that did not do the desired thing. Well, if, if they're going on a line, the dragon is obviously going to have a preference to that stat. How do I get him to be above? That's...
I don't know, that's, um... It's a little bit weird. I don't really... It's so close! I mean, what's the point of using a walkthrough if you're trying to do something? Then I might as well just not play the map. Which honestly probably would be, uh... Probably would be an enhancement of uh, the quality of life one can have. Would be to just not play this map. And I wish I was joking. Like, we almost have it. We almost have it. It's just, how do we get the last threat to be in a spot where we can get him to be sprayed? Maybe we need him in a frontal spot? If I move him down a little bit, he might go below it and get sprayed that way. Um, I don't know. We just have to try stuff right now. This isn't, like, this isn't... We're not being tactical and coming up with a brilliant strat right now. We're basically... What's the word for it? Brute forcing it? Kind of? We're just throwing sticks in. And just hoping something is going to work. What if I go with another Tusi stack there to try and incentivize him in the middle? But I don't think he wants to, that's the problem! I don't think it matters if I put it one way or the other. I think he's always going to go there. Now I have the two stack there. Is that not a problem? Yes? But now I have a two sis tank there, which means I don't know what that means, but it means something. Wait, I'm so confused right now. You know, sometimes we can have like these realizations on how a battle might be done. But I don't have that on this map. I just have... I just have confusion. And anger. And, like, we're just... We're just pushing buttons until we figure out if something sticks. And then, like, we put these sticks together until we have more sticks. And then, with those sticks, we compile the information until somehow we can get it all to stick into some weird, consistent mess of a thing. Yeah. It's just not... Trying to brute force something can be a necessity sometimes, but it's just... I don't feel like... I feel like it's a good thing. We don't want a happy life. Happy life is overrated. Okay, come on guys. 
you can't just sit there and and you gotta gotta come up with something. gotta help me. How do we do this? It wouldn't even uh, actually don't fucking spoil me, but like if you look at this situation right now, like how do how can we put this in a different way? Maybe if we were to like take their positioning and just move it down so that maybe he would want to get a little bit further up. Because I think that he's probably trying to get us close to the devil. <laughs> How are you enjoying this map, Halo? Oh, I'm really enjoying it. It's so great. It just... It just really makes me enjoy Heroes of Might Magic in a completely different light that I didn't think about before. In this situation, does he actually move forward and just land? The yeah, can be very simplistic, like that. I want to like take the easiest round. I don't worry about what spells the AI has. That's not relevant for right now. The only thing that's relevant is finding a way to get this dragon to kill these two boys. That's the only thing that matters. And I have tried so many ways to do this already. It's easy enough to get him to kill the, uh, the spicy boy. All it takes is uh, a little bit of luck because this doesn't seem to be consistent for whatever reason. Why is it doing that? I even made a... It's free too. This is to This works like half the time. And the other half, it's like... I don't know why this is happening now. Yeah, yeah, look at that. It's just fucking random. Between when or not he's going to behave correctly. I've had multiple brilliant ways to solve this battle, but that's not how this battle was intended. Yeah, I won't fall for it. <sighs> Guess it's another level of brilliance. I came up with another idea in my mind right now. I just don't know exactly how it's going to work. That makes no sense either. No. Hmm. I was thinking about the Pega size. They would be uh, slower, so they can switch them in between uh, this one after they have done the initial thing. I still don't know how or why he should go any other direction. It's just there's no reason for him to be in 
anywhere else in that. I don't know if I need to use this positioning right here for something. That makes no sense. None of this makes any sense. Have you tried higher lower number of dragons to do pride? Here's the thing, I've done that, which is why I had a 10. But the thing is that he will literally attack a 1 stack over the 10 stack if it means avoiding getting out of the, uh, the breath attack range. We've done that in multiple setup. He just will not position it. You have to do some sort of weird trick. Because the air will always want to avoid getting breath attacked. And priority on that is just not enough. It's only enough in certain circumstances. I think the reason why we're able to do it here is because um, the, the spicy boy is quicker than the red dragons. And now it's on the opposite end where like the dragon is faster than the the spicy boy. And so because he he moves first, he's going to want to not be in range of that, he's always going to try and avoid it. But if the spicy boys like move first, as it did in the round here, he's going to attack, and then like the dragon is going to do something stupid, and he's going to put himself in a situation where he can attack it. I think Dier possibly uh, works a little bit in reverse in that regard, that they, when they positionate a unit, they will avoid the breath attack. But like when they're controlling. The dragon itself, they may not have the scripting to properly positionate themselves away from that, if that makes any sense. Uh, yeah. Silly AI being smart and all such, yeah. It's a lot of duration. <laughs> <laughs> draw the dragon, not the effect. Yeah, we need to draw the dragon into a spot where he can hit. Because the effect is always going to avoid being targeted. So, like, you see what like he's doing here? Uh, actually, he moved first and then he went for the 10 down there. Uh, he went for the devil, that's an absolute no-go. But a lot of the times you'll see that the threat will actually move really close to the dragon. Because that way he can't get breath attacked either. But it's too random for the second round with the element. I think it has something to do with the first round. Elsie did tell me that he constructed most of the battles on this map to be done in the quickest manner possible, uh, so that not to like prolong them into two long rounds. Uh, there may be exceptions for that later, but like if there's like a solution, it's usually going to be the quickest way that it can be done. So that kind of tells me that it might be that we don't have to like draw this into a weird thing. Mm. 
And there's no way he's going to breath his own um, in it. And I'm, at this point, I'm already out of fireflies. I'm gonna move them anywhere. It's just not a good thing. The dragonflies. Whatever. Mm, I feel like we're so close and yet so far. This doesn't... With the information that I have right now, this is literally impossible. How did he survive that? That's weird. If, if all the information that I've just provided right now is true, then it can't be done. Because if he's always going to try and avoid being in that range, then, like, no matter how I position it that in the first round, he's not going to put himself in the harm's way. So it has to be in the second round. But what would he do in that case? I might actually end up being too quick in this um, because I don't have anything that can like get in that spot. It's too quick. Every one of them is too quick. Eleven. Sharpshooter. Pokey dokey. He can't poke. Yeah, nice try, man. Yeah, he won't be able to poke. Mortalman is too slow. He won't be able to poke.
I had an idea that what if we could get the dragon to like attack here, have a sharpshooter wait, stand here, and then run up and poke the dragon. Um Wait, why would it do that though? Oh yeah, because the sharpshooter would be quicker than the Afret, because he needs to move first. There's no way he's attacking that. The question is just if you'll stand here. How do we properly incentivize him to do that versus everything else that he can do? here some anti-blind pen we need for the spell I do have anti-blind pen the problem is I can't use it because if I use it I don't have enough speed versus the F and Sultan and then nothing that we do matters but maybe we actually do need that maybe I need the speed I can actually do that in reverse but I don't know We'll see. Wrong target. Whoops. Hmm. I want to fight them on grass instead of volcanic. Well, there's no way. It's all volcanic. We have to fight them as quickly as possible. That was something LC was very specific about. No waiting around. But he can attack in so many ways. Why would I ever do that though? That is driving me fucking nuts. I'm tunnel missing this. I had another idea. I'm gonna soon give up. <sighs> okay, I I did have another idea. Which involves 
some unlikely strats. Some unlikable strats. So he's doing that because he's attacking first. So I need a way to. Uh... Like, am I being stupid? Uh, I, I still don't think he's gonna position himself in that way, but we need to try. Um, I think every time we did things like this, it kind of got. It's too far away though. Uh... 
gonna be a problem with the um, with the blind in the long run. I do get the feeling I might need to use the pendant, but mm, I don't know. He's not gonna run out of mana anytime soon. That's kind of picky. I'd cast some other spells, but that's not great.
Oh, for fuck's sake, come on. Oh, it was actually correct. Mm. I don't get this. I, I truly do not understand this. I'm also kind of starting to think that I might need to use the pendant. Which doesn't make my troubles better. It just makes things worse. It's never going to move, like... like a really really low chance of that sometimes failing very weird Is that? Is because he's putting wait no? Oh, he's putting on shield. He's putting on shield. Dude, Elsie, what the fuck? What the fuck? So now it's just not enough damage as a, as a result of that. <sighs> That's not like I have anything that can hurt them. A little bit. Uh, 
I wish I had the spell. I would take it out of the equation immediately instead of this. I need... Oh, it's a bit choosy there. It's a simple fight. Yeah, it's a simple fight that if you, if you know how to do it, it's very simple. But if you don't know how to do it, it's like... Just absolute insanity. Very simple battle. Just need to know exactly what to do. It's very simple. Wait, I attacked the wrong target. Or did I? Yeah, I kinda did. That made no sense what I was just doing there.
We got it. We got it. Although not like that. I think I even understand the rationale of this and that's... That's some out of this world rationale. Yeah, it's just so greedy. That's that's how we bait them. We need to make the ultimate greed spot where they defy the desires of wanting not to be breathed to death by having a target they can attack instead. They'll risk everything to do damage. I need the small stacks, but it's whatever. can't reach that. Okay, so like this. Um, I think I might even have to take off the shield. Yeah. Um, so I have two stacks here. That doesn't leave me with much. Because it does too much damage if I don't do that. So, so I need to attack here. And then here. And then next round we can get him to kill that. And that'll be it. Hold on, I'll probably need to get some water elements out. But I won't get good DPS. Okay, what should we do here? We haven't done anything here. He just needs to attack there. I'm just... Oh, actually I don't want to hit him just yet. Get the element out first. And then we just go like that. And... Try and lure him as far away as possible. And now that we're here, we can put on Bliss. And... Details don't matter that much. Oh, he has Curse. That's kind of annoying, actually. Mm. Uh, now I'm getting really fucking shitty stuff. What else can he use? I don't know. Um, let me see. He won't get morale ever. So, 
Wait, no, there's totally still a spot over here I can get, so I don't really know what... I'm kind of curious, like... Hmm. Oh, you can actually escape here eventually. But you were waiting, so we can kind of still go there. He's not casting any spells, like he's immune to everything, so at this point... I'll just have to kite this forever. Yeah, the curse is a bit of a dickish move, if you ask me. Oh wow, I only get three damage out anyways. I guess it didn't really matter that much. Anyway. He cast Disruption Ray of all things? That's cool. Um, and we're dead. How would I actually go about not having that happen? Dude, this is pretty fucked up that we have... Wait, I still do free. We have to like have like an elaborate kiting battle after this. Or actually, I think, I think that all we really need is some elements. But that would be a lot of hit. Where is actually the kiting pattern here that I'm supposed to get? Um... I don't really know. Kiting, like, an 11 unit stack? That's pretty rough. I'm not even sure if I... Dude, that's... So rough, man. That's so rough. I feel like I'm gonna red pill the rest of this battle. Did he just put himself in an odd spot? Probably. Oh yeah, something definitely went wrong here with the, uh, the positioning of that. Wait, what? Is he doing it again? I feel like we're not in the right spot. Because like, it needs to be where he can be hit there. somewhere else, is he not? I'm really confused right now. He's just not doing what he's doing. Why is he not positioning himself? Well, I did figure this out. The problem is, I have to do this like in the tactics, and like now I, like something is, is putting the guy to move in a different way. It's, uh, I don't know. I think it might be easy if I just spread my units out. Um, but he's just not consistently going because there's a variation between my units. I just need um, I don't need a lot. I really don't need a lot. Like, what I need is... 
I need a one, only one that's a two stack to take the initial dragon. I think that, I think that having it a little bit more like this might help. Because the threat is going to like position it itself based on like where the... What? They're waiting? Oh, wait, I think with that set I didn't have the pendant on, so that's a problem. Yeah, okay, so pendant on. Mm. I'm gonna red pill soon. Yeah, I can just botch the bar. That is true. Yeah, okay, so you see this? Like, he's a little bit more below this time around, simply because of that. So, um, yeah, we just need to get him in the right spot so that this is the spot to that. So he just needs to be right here so he can hit both of them. And then we need to block his passage up here, and one goes there. Yeah. And then one needs to attack there. And then we... What do we do here? Element. And uh, that doesn't matter. Oh, I didn't move that correctly, but I don't think it matters. Um, so, he's casting Disruption Wave for reasons I don't understand. This is even necessarily enough damage. Am I just missing something? Oh, you know what? I think I think I understand what's supposed to happen here, and I'm doing it uh, wrong. Although, depending on where he moves, he is also an issue. But. But here's what I think you're supposed to do, is, um... You're supposed to bait him down to the corner, right here, while waiting. And then he moves, and you're gonna then summon an element, so that when you move over here, you can then, like, have, like, a round between, so you can hit, like, every, uh, like, every round. And I don't really know how tight it's going to be in terms of mana, but probably pretty tight. I would imagine. Do I have enough mana? Here's the thing. I have all the possible mana that I could be having. So unless I'm like... I don't really know. I have full mana when I go into this battle. So it can't really be like, do I have enough mana? Because like, this is how it's supposed to be done. Did he just move in a strange ray again? No, actually this is... Wait, yes he did. Wait, did he? He did. Why does he do that sometimes? Yeah, they're hitting low with the debuff as well. So, <laughs> why does this have so much RG to it? I, I don't. This battle has the most absurd fucking ratio of RNG. Or maybe it's not even necessarily RNG, but it's just 
the surgical precision of like every unit having to be just so. It's like he needs to be down there. If he's not down there, like the dragon can't hit him, that's the problem. And like, if he can hit it, the problem is like, it needs to be here because that's the way he has like no other ways of attacking, because otherwise he has two routes to attack it. Okay, maybe we'll just calculate this one instead of actually trying to do it, because I'm going to save my sanity. Um. But yeah, okay, so we have like 180. How much damage do I do? That's what I want to know right now. I think we're hitting between two or three every hit, which is not a lot. I get like one free hit. Um, in the beginning. And then we need... We can cast how many of these? I can cast about nine. Yeah, nine of these. Get about ten ish. Switching between this, like doo -doo 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 -doo. maybe if I get some lucky hits. Other than that, it seems kind of stupid. Is this something more that we're missing? It just seems to be unreasonably tight. Uh, there's no spells I can cast. I can cast Bless me. No, I won't have enough of that. Um, but yeah, with the variation here, like I'm potentially only killing 10. What is missing here? Are we missing something? I'm not sure. I want to be at least able to do this legitimate once, but like, I'm actually not sure if we have enough in the end to do it. down to like something else what if we just don't like fight her well I mean I think it would be the same scenario uh, like maybe we're kind of waiting on that because we didn't have enough mana it's no way for me to get less or more of something that won't really do anything this military I'm confused uh, we're supposed to win that immediately, so I don't have time for not doing that. How odd. Buff is way too low. Yeah. Isn't like an extra we can get. We can get a little bit of luck, but that's about it. That doesn't happen very often. The damage seems too low to actually be able to sustain that so what would you do in this case trying still gonna reach you
I, I can't tell if it... I should probably just do it. I'm done. I'm done for today. Anyways. Wait, I'll, I'll try and see if I can do that legitimately. But I'm a little bit confused if you can actually read that. That doesn't seem like... It seems a little bit off. But I guess I just... Just try it. But I feel like you're gonna end up like somewhere between 5 to 10 dragons not dead in the end. And it's not like we can tank that with that amount of attack on the hero. No matter what we do, we're gonna be kind of screwed. Unless it's like some even more elaborate scheme where... Because we did have like one more f uh, fly available. So it could honestly be that we don't even need the mana. And that in the end we just have two stacks of devils. And we just kite it that way. But then I would have to go back and like figure that stuff out as well. Because then I wouldn't maybe attack it. And then the positioning would be different as well because it's in reverse. But like fuck me I'm not doing that stuff again. Uh, yeah, it's probably something to do with that. Ooh. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, it could be that we can just kite them, because, like, then one could be in one end. We just need to find, like, a good companion. I feel like he's kind of everywhere, so I don't really know if that would ever actually work. I'd have to test it out. It sounds really... Seems really fishy. Or maybe you can even go with like one and a nine stack and then just cut it that way. What about the Serpent Fly? I, um, don't know. I don't know. It's something weird. Anyways, this is it for today. Thank you all for watching. Hope you have a good day. Bye bye.